Jaden, the uh, celebration on the court when you grabbed the rebound seemed kind of chill and, and relaxed. Was the uh, was the the locker room the same way or no? Oh no no, I'm out of breath. Uh, we just got it in. We just got it in real quick. Um, it's amazing, man. It's amazing, man. We've been through so so much adversity, man. Uh, we played three, four games in January. We was out for like 17 days, 20 days. It was tough, man. And we just had to get back in our rhythm. And we've gotten better with each game we played. UCF uh, came back. And then um, Tulsa, we was right in there. And in Houston, everything clicked tonight. And it was great to see everybody step up. And it was that's a team win. That's a great team win and big for our program. Jaden, your ball club has gotten their share of open shots over the course of this season. When you make shots, you can do some damage. And tonight, that's what you guys did. Yeah, it's amazing. Everybody was ready um, early. Um, just I saw saw them just helping off them. And I just said, keep shooting. Like, they're just leaving you open. So, And then uh, JJ got some. Trey got some. It's just amazing when the ball goes in the basket. It makes everyone's life easy. Jaden, de defensively tonight, you guys are very active, especially around the basket. So just how how big of a boost was that for you guys playing so strong defensively? I mean, credit to the coaching staff, getting us ready, prepared, prepped, um, banging on the boards, um, we just physical. We know we had to be physical tonight, and we were trying to be very physical early, and I'm pretty sure they felt us. And um, we, we responded tonight, and that was that was, that was was the uh, big time, big time adjustment. Hey, Jaden, uh, just seven turnovers tonight. That's incredible against a team that plays defense like Houston. Just talk about that. You took care of the ball, rebounded, yeah. down, made free throws down the stretch. Yeah, Coach always talks about um, the – needs to stay in the game, and we did that tonight. We got a lot of possessions. We got a lot of shots up and, and breeded off our defense. We made them turn the ball over a lot, and – we got rebounds, and it was, it was we made it tough for them tonight. ECU had never defeated a top five team in school history. Um, hadn't done it. I mean, it, a lot of people would have said this isn't possible. I mean, what would you say to that? You know, people just kind of on looking and maybe not believing this could happen. I mean, it's just like it's just like football. It's any given Sunday. Whoever goes out there the, and preps and works and put the put the work in is going to win on that on that day. And we came in very prepared, prepped, ready to go, and we were able to get the W. And that's just how the ball fall, uh, the ball rolls sometimes. Hey, Jaden, JB here from Spectrum News One, man. Good to see you again, and uh, congratulations on the win. Speaking of this win, is this one of those victories that you're going to tell your grandkids about, man? Is this one that you'll never, ever forget? Yeah, that's the best win ever. Um, just letting that sink in that you just be the top five team in the country. And that's, that's very surreal. That's stuff you dream about. Beating anybody ranks, really. And for it to be top five, yeah, this, this is the best right here. This is the best. Jaden Tremont and Tristan did a fabulous job of just controlling the basketball tonight and putting you guys in a position to, to, to score points. They scored their share of them as well. Talk about uh, how, how it looked to you, uh, what they were doing out there a little bit. Uh, they're, they're really great guards. They're very poised, under control, and they know when and where to pick and choose their spots. And they're very poised and they're very mature for their age because they're very young. Um, but they, I love playing with them. Um, they're ready to make big time shots and, and make big time plays on both ends of the floor. So it's, it's, it's always a pleasure playing with them. Have you thought at all tonight? I know it's been crazy, but what it would have been like if fans would have been here, they would have rushed the court. I know you're an emotional guy, the student section. I mean, I know this is awesome, but like what it could have been to some extent. The fans was here. It, that would just that would just make the experience all the more better. And it's very unfortunate that COVID and all these things had to happen on our biggest winning program history. But it's something that we just have to learn and cope with. What does this do for the mindset of this ball club and this program moving forward with to your belief system and this ball club's belief system now that you've proven that you can hang with one of the best? Well, you just beat the number one team in the conference. So then your mindset is, if you can beat the number one team in the conference, you should be able to beat everybody in the conference. But you also have to still have that same mindset and prep that you're playing the best. So you can't just, if we go play, uh, you know, like UCF again, we can't have like, oh, they're UCF, they're not Houston. You gotta have the same mindset and prepare. And it, it comes with us gelling together and getting back to practice and getting our rhythm back. That's all it, that's all it takes.
Jaden, as far as the game is concerned in the second half, it felt like you guys were very loose. You were having a lot of fun. It seemed like uh, with Houston that they were feeling a lot of pressure as the clock was ticking down. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, I, I feel like they were just running out of time, and they knew it. Uh, we just had to keep the lead. Um, they they made a big run after my turnover. Um, they cut it to, cut it to two, and, but then we asserted ourselves back and got the lead back. And once we got the lead, we, we was very comfortable because we, we were trading twos. We're, we're fine with trading twos. We don't want to be in a trading three situation. So we was able to maintain that 10-point lead, and that was vital. Mr. Newton. Tristan, big ball game for you tonight, um, ball game for you guys, and you pick up the biggest victory in the school history. Um, talk about what you were seeing out there. You did a good job of controlling the basketball and scoring and leading this ball club at the point for much of the evening. Well, uh, we were moving the ball a lot, and then our job out there as the point is to control the game, see everything. So I see my shooters, Trey was hitting, JJ was hitting, everybody was hitting. So I get to the lane, they're going to crash in, I find it out, they're going to hit it. There's a couple of times just in the second half, uh, you and Tremont, I think after making some of those threes, just kind of smiled. And, and uh, it, was it hard to just kind of hold back what y'all were doing as far as just, just making those threes? I mean, what was the emotions like during some of those shots? Um, yeah, it's kind of hard holding back. You have, to, you have to be serious, but Coach always tells us to have fun out there. So when he hits a shot, I'm happy for him. When I hit a shot, he happy for me. So that's what we smiling about. Tristan, what, what does this kind of win do for you guys after a rough stref, stretch coming out of the COVID pause? Just what does it do for you moving forward? Uh, it gives us a whole bunch of confidence. Uh, us, uh, we can be anybody in the conference. Uh, top five team in the nation, that's a great win. So it shows us that we can compete and beat anybody in the conference. Chris? Tristan, can you talk about kind of your mental, maybe a little bit of a slump and uh, dealt with some absences, but how did you get ready tonight to perform like you did? Well, I do the same routine I do every game, come in uh, a little bit early, get some shots up. But coach and teammates tell me to keep being aggressive. So I think I was a little more aggressive tonight and it helped me out. I'm aggressive. They help out. I can give it to my teammates. And if they don't help, I can get to the rim, get a mid-range. Justin, you guys have been so close in the month of January. Uh, I know it's got to be special to have the monkey off your back, so to speak. Right. It was really the past couple of games, it's been our first half, to be honest. Like, second half has been great. So we knew that we weren't down big because UCF was 20, Memphis was 30. So we just had to be great. I mean, like, be close there in the second and the first half so we can pull it on the second half, finish off the game. How big is it going to be for you guys now to begin to follow this thing up and, and try to find ways to to extend this thing a little bit and, and change the mindset of this conference on, you know, when they play East Carolina, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Oh, it's going to be real big. So it gives us a lot of confidence. The confidence, like with the confidence, you hit shots that you know you can hit. You, you're just a lot more confident, do everything that you're used to doing. So. It's going to be real big, and we just got to keep stringing them together. Was there a point, maybe you mentioned the first half, but there a point where y'all kind of believed it could happen, you know, and started really thinking and looking at the school board, that type of thing? Oh, well, I mean, we came into the game believing that we are going to win. We do that every game, but it was like um, when we was up 10, when we were up 10, I think it was 67, 57, and then they started fouling. We were like, we got this just – Keep knocking down free throws, keep guarding, and get rebounds. And we'll come out with the victory. Obviously, obviously good win, you know, for the program. But the guys uh, played to win, which is most important. Not just played hard. I thought we competed and tried to win the game. I thought we had a lot of guys step up. Obviously, Jaden and, uh, you know, I thought Tristan played well. I thought it was a real good team effort, especially some guys down. So, uh, real good win for our guys. Sure has to be nice when guys are hitting shots like they should. And you've been getting wide open shots for, for quite a while now. And a few guys will be on, a few guys will be off. You got the whole effort tonight. Uh, what's it feel like? Oh, we shot the ball well, which makes up for a multitude of sins. I mean, that's that's one of the biggest things. And, um, you know, I, I thought in stretches our defense was pretty good, but I thought our offense, I thought the, more so because we didn't turn it over. We were one for six in the first half on bad shots. And I haven't seen the second half stats, but I, 
can't imagine we took more than three or four bad shots, which are the same as turnover. So it was good that the guys were, you know, made, made good decisions with the ball and were, were not necessarily, uh, you know, we weren't reckless. I, I did think the ball moved pretty well. And like you said, when we have 20 assists on 27 field goals, that's a good offensive ratio. Joe, you were probably at Kansas going back on the wrong side of these kind of upsets and these these kind of nights, you know, getting knocked off when you're ranked so high. What was it, what was it like for you personally to, to kind of pull an upset that's going to register, obviously, on Sports Center and have a kind of national uh, appeal and uh, impact? That's, thanks for bringing up those, those bad losses. I appreciate that. But, I mean, I have been on that other side. And it's, it's, you know, it's, I think it's one of those deals, you know, that you – you know, you always, as a coach, you guys, you know, everybody thinks it's a cliche that you're worried about. Uh, I think you're always worried about all the games. And, you know, if you're used to trying to play for a, you know, a high seed, I mean, I know Coach Samson was on those guys because he is, because he's a great coach. And, uh, but, you know, I, I do, I've, I've seen the other side of it. It's, it's uh, one of those things where I know that they're a really good team. They'll go back and they'll regroup and they'll be, uh, they'll be ready to play the next time. So Coach Sampson appeared to be very emphatic in congratulating you after the game. Can you share any of his comments? He was just very gracious as usual. I mean, I have a lot of respect for Coach. I mean, I've, I've known him for a long time. Uh, he just said a few things to me about, you know, things we've talked about. He's been through the building process and uh, just very gracious and, and uh, I appreciate his friendship. Coach, I missed the first couple of uh, questions. So forgive me if you've already answered this question, but this was your 200th career win, um, and with it being against such a uh, formidable opponent and the best win, arguably, in school history, does that mean anything to you, or maybe it's something that will mean a little bit more down the line? You know, I, I, I think it's good for the guys because they've stuck with it. I mean, it's been, a, it's been a rough month. You know, we've had guys in and out, guys in and out of, you know, injuries, pro, you know, COVID protocol, you know, it's been a disjointed month for, for our whole team. So just for them to stick in, I thought we did some good things against Tulsa. I thought we played better. I thought we did some good things today. Obviously, we did, you know, it's a great win for the program. And, and hopefully it's something that, you know, we can build on because they'll see that, you know, you, you, you got to win every day in practice. You can't, you know, it can't be one day on, one day off. And uh, I also like to see the guys get rewarded because that's something they've never really experienced since they've been here. And coach, another follow-up to that. Um, sports and in general, you know, in football, there's the 12th man in basketball, you know, that sixth man is usually uh, the crowd being able to, to win this game without that atmosphere and that energy and that extra push. Does that say a little bit extra about this team? I, I think this, not just for our team and, and, and going on the road also, I, I've got to give all these kids a lot of credit, whether it's Houston or East Carolina or, or all these other for them playing with no fans, these guys have been lined up playing really hard everywhere. And we went to, you know, we've gone on the road and played at SMU. Those guys played really hard. With no, I think I think these kids just want to play. I think it's it it is weird. I, I think they're starting to get used to it. But um, I think it's it would have been nice for our fans to be able to share that. Now I do say it would have been an awesome op, you know opportunity for our fans to see Houston play and watch us you know win that game. But. Uh, I got to give the credit, the kids all, you know, throughout the country, the credit for, for lining up and doing this this year. Coach, um, Brandon Suggs wasn't dressed out today and Tyree Jackson went down with an injury. Can you just provide an update on them? Uh, we'll get a medical update on, on both of those guys. Uh, Brandon was, has been banged up a little bit, got hurt against Tulsa. So hopefully we'll get some news on him tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to go down and I got a preliminary um, update on Tyree and we'll, we'll find out where that goes probably a little bit later tonight. A bit of a two-part question uh, for you. Where does this win rank for you, and what does it do for the mindset of, of this team moving forward? Um, I mean, it, for the mindset, I think the biggest thing is learning, you know, is us on a consistent basis learning how to compete every day and seeing things that, you know, the little things do matter. Uh, believing is a, is a, you know, believe that you can win the game. Now they've seen that they can win a game. Hope that will give us some confidence going forward. Uh, it's a great win. I mean, I, you know, I enjoy them all. I mean, this was a, this was a really good win for our program. Um, and hopefully that's something we can build on. Kristen said it when y'all went up by 10 in the second half, 67 to 57 is when the players could kind of feel it was, you know, getting close and getting real. I mean, how proud are you for them closing it out at that point and, and, and you know, finishing it off? 
but we got some stops. And then, you know, I think the other thing was with, with exception when we made our free throws, I, you know, we, we had a couple, we, we didn't, you know, trick too many, we tricked two or three of them off, but we didn't trick a bunch of them in a row off, which, you know, and then we were fortunate that, you know, we, we gave up a couple easy quick buckets around the, you know, from about the minute 45 mark, you know, to about the minute mark, we gave up too many direct line drives downhill, which, you know, it's hard to guard when someone's putting their head down, driving it, and then you're telling them, not, don't foul. I mean, that's a, that's a really hard deal. So that's, you know, that's, that's why we went a little zone that last minute. Anything else for Coach, guys? Congratulations, Coach. Thanks, Thank, Coach. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you.